This project is a robot, it's a CBA robot, and it has a mouse sensor on the front. That mouse sensor used to be sold by Parallax. It's basically the guts of a mouse sensor with the um, all the extraneous hardware removed so you can just directly interface to that. Um, the mouse sensor has a negative clock, so there's a little inverter board on top to make it easy to interface with, one transistor inverter, and then it hooks up to the basic stamp. Now, the reason I'm using the basic stamp is that I haven't used it in a while, and it's actually a surprisingly easy microcontroller to use. You know, you just basically, uh, it's got a very simple basic language that has like little commands to do most of the stuff you'd need. Um, on the back is a LCD, and I have wheel encoders on this robot. So the robot's going to move forward a fixed amount, then roll back a fixed amount. So I'll be able to see roughly how much the mouse sensor records versus the onboard encoders. And so I'll turn it on. So it rolls forward, then it rolls back. Now, it's hard for you to see that, but if I roll it over, it now is reading 833 versus minus 399. The mouse sensor's resolution is really, really high. So, for example, if I let it roll forward and stop it, let me do that. I won't let it roll back. Now, if I show it to you, it says something like minus 41. That's because it moved roughly in a straight line, but the the displacement forward is 5,623. Now let's let it roll forward unencumbered, then let it roll back, and you'll see that it's 19, okay? But because there was that weird skew in the movement, the robot moved sideways a little bit. Now that's because, um, you know, you start up the robot and use the encoders, but they're not perfect, and you might over-torque one motor versus the other. You get a little bit of action onto one side, and then it, it loops back, okay? But overall, I would say that the, the encoders are telling you, and the mouse sensor largely agrees, that you can move the robot forward, and then you can move the robot back, and the two sensors roughly align with each other, saying you move back roughly as far forward as you move forward. So that kind of, to me, this experiment shows promise for using a mouse sensor as some kind of a sensor in a robot to measure displacement, either X, Y, or just in one direction.